Hello everybody, welcome back to another mind test video. Uh, this video is going to be 100% different than what you were anticipating. I know this for a fact. Unfortunately, TPS Extreme um, doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I record all my videos super far in advance. And I think like since the beginning of June, TPS Extreme has been down, but I had videos going out till the middle of July. So they just kept going and we, and when I say we, I mean myself and the um, host for the Pixel Shadow. We were hoping that it would end up coming back online, but there was, I don't know if the server was just haunted or what, because... I mean, we can look at this, and there's the Pixel Shadow Survival, Crappy Server, Domes PvP Survival, Lego Creative, Skylands PvP Survival, and I thought there was one more, but maybe that's it. Every single one of these servers works perfectly fine, absolutely zero issues. And they're all running on the exact same machine. There is one computer that hosts all of these, to my knowledge. I know it used to be only one, I don't think he's gone out and gotten a second machine so everything works fine except extreme and myself a few of the other moderators and the admin we looked at logs we went through mods and enabled and disabled things trying to figure out what in the world's causing all the lag on the server and uh we really couldn't find out there was just nothing seemed to really make sense as to why there were these issues. And it's weird because a lot of these servers use close to the same subset of mods. Like the creative server has Technic, it has Pipeworks, it has Mesocons, uh, as does the survival server. And on the survival server, actually, I have a whole bunch of Technic and Pipework stuff. In fact, so let's go ahead and join that server. Um, and I know I'm not the only person who does. There's a lot of other people who have some pretty elaborate machines and stuff set up. And the server runs without issue. But for whatever reason, Extreme just... We don't know. It couldn't resolve address. What? How could it not resolve address? I know that their servers were down a few days ago, but I thought they had gotten that fixed. Maybe not. I don't understand why it'd be announcing if its address is no good. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, I, did, I don't know why it doesn't work. We kind of thought maybe there was just too many... Because here's the thing. It seemed like it was the spawn location that caused the problems. So if you weren't in spawn, there seemed to be no issues. But then, when you traveled and went near spawn, the whole server would just freeze up. Whoa, what in the world is going on up there? So, with that, we uh, figured out something wrong with the area around spawn, but we couldn't figure out what. And every time you went into spawn, the whole server would just hang and crash. So, unfortunately, we, I mean, we had an idea to just move the spawn location, but a lot of people built around a spawn. So anytime anybody went to that home, it would screw everything up. And yeah, it was just, we couldn't make it work. So it got taken offline. Um, we had hoped we'd be able to figure it out and put it back online, but that didn't really happen. So here, yeah, I got tons of pipes. And admittedly, there's nothing running through them right now, but... When I was playing on the server, stuff was running through these pipes. Everything sorts, automated cooking and grinding, an egg collector over here. I've got solar panels outside, and I've got this little setup inside that puts leaves into a furnace to make electricity. So, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff going on here. These are all sorting out their... Um, and I know I'm not the only person who has 
stuff like this. There's a lot of players that have stuff that just is all over the place. I don't understand why there's so many animals here. Wowzers. All the... Why did animals all decide this is the place to spawn? I don't know if this is uh, an animal I can pick up. Not tamed, I guess it's not. Oh, there's a dirt monster there. Wow, there's a... They're just everywhere. Why? All these doggies? Dog made, made do, wow. Dog model made by yours truly. Nothing in my mailbox. Alright, well. So, yeah, this is pretty much just a video to say that the series on Extreme is, um, is over. Unfortunately, because uh, server is not up, so I can't record any more videos. Here we've got somebody with, uh, wow, this looks like a lot of pipework stuff here. Rex. He's got, uh, looks like some auto harvesters set up there. For some reason, it looks like there used to be a lot more to this in it. Somebody griefed it or something. But I don't understand how they could have, because it's protected by him. But whatever, he's got some uh, auto crafters, it looks like, going on here. Um, some uh, solar panels. Oh, and a quarry, too. Wow, look at that. A bunch of geothermals hooked up and then converting that from low voltage to medium voltage to, I'm assuming, high voltage. And a very deep quarry there. That is really impressive. Um, let's try and see if we can't do this without dying. Go down to the bottom of the water here. And... Uh, See how close it puts us to the bottom of the quarry. I can't even see the bottom yet. But yeah, notice it's, uh, there's not really doing anything that you'd notice lagging yet. But, uh, yeah, this is, this quarry is running right now. And no issues punch this button. I don't know what it does. Probably shouldn't be punching buttons on stuff that's not mine. Interesting, like, lighthouse or something? Oh, almost fell in there. A lighthouse or something here? I'm not really sure what this is all about. Is there a ladder? No. Okay, again, I'm not sure. He's got a bunch of really cool stuff. He's got, like, a sword over there. There used to be a faucet that was pouring out lava, but I don't think that exists anymore. A giant H. Okay. So like this weird little... Well, I shouldn't say weird, but this floating concentric circle thing. And yeah, just a lot of really impressive builds. Um, but anyway, all this to say that this server is working fine. And it has many of the same mods. I think the only thing it doesn't have is probably the not so simple mobs. Put bone meal to middle. Okay. I'm assuming that would make something happen if you did it. So, um, this is going to be the, the end of the series. And this isn't even on the server because, uh, I didn't know beforehand that it was going to shut down. So, um, I guess I'll give you a little bit of news here. Uh, you may have already heard, depending on how many, uh, how many different places you follow me and stuff, but I am working on a mind test curriculum that is going to teach how to mod and uh, I'm actually currently looking for 
um, I don't know the best way to phrase it. Not volunteers, because there will be uh, reimbursement, I guess. But I'm looking for some testers, I guess, for lack of a better word, to um, pretty much just go over the course material and give me feedback. Let me know if it makes sense, if anything's confusing, if, uh, you know, they have questions, or I should say, if you have questions on anything. Because um, basically, here's the, here's the thing. I've got a bunch of scripts written on Google Drive and it's actually linked on my website but uh it's just publicly visible and if you want to leave feedback and stuff you have to let me know and i'll add you as a um not a contributor but i'll give you permission to leave comments on the material and then in return for your doing that because i don't expect anybody to do something for free when i plan on making some amount of money off of it I will give you a free subscription to the course once it is finished. And I guess even before it's finished, finished, um, I'll give you access to it. So the idea is I'm going to do everything on paper, have scripts for everything. And then um, I'll record videos using those scripts. I'm thinking right now I'm going to use Gumroad as the platform that's subject to change. But from the looking around I've done, that kind of looks like it might be my best route. And uh, what I'll do is I'll release some of the videos for free on YouTube. Basically like the uh, the introduction videos, the like the super basic stuff. How to install mod packs, how to install mods, how to do texture packs, sub games. Like, the real, real basic stuff that's not really how to mod, but is just kind of more an introduction to mind test and how to use it and such. Those will all be available for free on my web, or on, uh, on YouTube, which I'll have them linked to my website too. And the idea behind that is kind of, so people will see it, see the contents better than my standard YouTube video because it's scripted and will be potentially heavily edited depending on how well I do with going off the script. And so they will realize, that, oh, there's actually a reason to pay for this because it's better than his normal off-the-cuff, run-of-the-mill, non-scripted, non-rehearsed junk. And I use the term junk very loosely because I don't think I've ever had anybody tell me that my videos are garbage. Of course, that's subject to change, I suppose. Um, just wait, this video's comments are going to be full of, wow, this video is garbage. This video is garbage. Wow, your videos are garbage. But that's all right. If you want to do that, go for it. I won't mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I'll be releasing... Um, I'm going to do like these little PDF quick reference guide kind of things that will go along with the videos. So say I do a video on um, doing uh, collision boxes. So for example, we have this uh, this millwork machine here and the table saw, and then we have, you know, a full square node, and this node, its collision box is a full square, whereas this, whoops, whereas this collision box is this little table and this little thing sticking up here, and this one's collision box is the table. So I'll have a video on, like, setting up collision boxes, and then I'll have a quick reference guide, or something along those lines will be, it's what it'll be called, that'll be in PDF form, and it'll basically just give you the like the um the math and i actually already made some graphics for it. it's pretty nice it's got a little three axis piece letting you know your zero point and then telling you you know how to calculate what your numbers will be and then there'll be some of the questions in the pdf guides um, with answers on like the last page or something and it'll kind of be like which of these three sets of numbers match this collision box or which collision box matches these numbers and kind of just an exercise for you to get familiar with how the system works um and there'll be others but that's the only one that i've uh like written anything for as of yet but uh yeah those will all be released for free on my website uh i kind of want to have a close to i would say 40 60 mix where 40 percent will be stuff that'll release for free and then 60% will be 
like all the videos which will be the exclusive ones to people who paid for the course or who gave me feedback during the creation and planning of the course um and then yeah i'll pretty much just give you a code so you get the course for free and then as you know my test continues to evolve and update and as i have time i will continue to update and make new videos and stuff and uh anybody who has either helped out with the uh, feedback on it or who has bought the course will get upgrades for as long as or i guess updates would be that word. we'll get updates for as long as i continue to make them for the course so that's kind of my next big thing i'm not planning on starting a new series to take the place of this i actually am uh finishing up my do cakes vivarium series in i think two weeks as well so I'm going to be doing a few less videos, but I'm trying to put out some better quality content. And I uh, have just recently moved, so I have a lot of work to do around my new house. So that's another reason why I'm cutting back a little bit on the my test videos. Um, I could see it going down to just two videos a week, but uh, quite honestly, I think that'd be okay, you know? And uh, if you disagree, well, that's tough, I guess. Uh, the only solution I'd have for you is uh, find other people that create my test videos and go support them. Well, of course, continuing to support me. I would never tell you to stop supporting me and solely support other people. That would that'd be asinine. Like, why would you ever tell somebody to not support you? If you didn't want people supporting you, why would you even be doing it? But now we're now we're getting philosophical here, so... Let's just end it off. It's been a great series, guys. What has it been? 50, 54 videos on Extreme. Maybe one or two more. I don't remember if I did any like special time lapses. I don't think I did. I know I've done that on some other servers. But about a year that we've been doing Extreme. And my base was like not even half done. Yeah, when you look at it that way, it's kind of disappointing that it took me so long and I did accomplish so little. But thanks for sticking around, guys. Um, of course, if you haven't already seen the whole series, there is a playlist for it. You can watch it end to end. It's probably only like 24 or 25 hours long, you know, psh, totally something you can do in a day. Actually, if it's 25 hours long, there's no physically, no physical way... You could possibly actually watch all of that in one day because there's not that much time to unless you did it on a leap year or wait not a leap year what am i saying every year if you are in a uh, location where you do the daylight savings time you on that one day where we get the extra hour i guess you could technically watch 25 hours worth of content but that would pretty much mean sitting in front of your computer for 25 hours straight to watch me in videos. I don't think it's worth it. Spread it out over several weeks. That's what I would do. Ooh, bubbles on the floor. I don't know if you guys even heard those, but there was bubble poppy things. Bubble wrap, that's what it's called. Anyway, uh, that's gonna wrap this one up. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And uh, I will see you next time in another video.